Hello and welcome. I am Gary and Reaver, and these are my second impressions of Orwell, a dystopian sort of 1984 surveillance simulator, I guess. This is sort of partially part of the first impressions as well, because I recorded about an episode and a half for my first impressions and decided just to cut it early. So this is the second part of that and my second continuation. So basically this, I'm hoping this is going to be the entire second episode of the game. Welcome back. I hope you don't mind if we get started right away. There is tons of work. I met with my superiors and they wish to continue with the test case. They believe in the capability of Orwell to handle this. Oh, and you, of course. I almost forgot. Ha ha. My superiors agree. The Activist... I was about to say Activision. Activision is worth investigating. Now that Goldfells is a target, there may be new data chunks available in documents. Don't forget to go back and recheck. Goldfells. First of all, there's your picture. The Thoughts of Free mentions folk song. I suppose it could be relevant. That he is an interest. The letter we are right, it seems. Oh, was that in the letter? Again, I didn't read the letter. Immigrated to in 1993. He created the blog. If Godfells, Goodfells, Goldfells, got it there in the end, is the one who created the blog, perhaps he founded or was even the member, the leader of the activist group. Wow. The party. The nation. Ugh. Ah, finally some new ones. Let's see. Recruiting two of my students and amazing three demina demonstrations. Demonations? I can't read. Hmm, three demonstrations. More interesting might be that those two students seem to be involved. I will halt my active engagement in this group. Whatever active engagement means, still an interesting fact. I firmly believe that it should be the better for everyone, including my students from Stelligan. What now, Stelligan? The same Stelligan where a bomb just exploded? You know what I think about coincidences. That they don't exist, but occasionally they do happen anyway? So far, the evidence suggests that Goldfells was a prominent lecturer at Stelligan. Some of his students became involved in thought. Did he, like, recruit them for his cause, bro? We let ourselves get consumed by anger and hatred towards those we thought to do us wrong. I see now my high aims might well be the cause for all the events of the past few months. I feel responsible. Reacts with hatred and anger about troubled past. And feels responsible for it. I reckon that one. A troubled past. We will have to get to the bottom of this. Ooh. Course is currently available. He was a media ethics teacher. Abraham Goldfells. Retired in 2016. Did you notice the bombing location seemed to be closely connected to Thought members? There could be a pattern emerging. Thought has held three demonstrations, yet there have only been two bombings. Which might imply... Well, it's definitely a shot in the dark, but we need to do everything to prevent another attack. Take a look at the past of each member of Thought. Find out the locations of all demos. See, I, we're in such a hurry, I didn't even have time to say the full word demonstrations. That might yield a hint. Former journalist, chairman of Global Media Ethics Congress. See, there isn't a lot here that isn't relevant. Everything, almost every single bloody thing that I can find is relevant. There's just been like one or two that haven't been. Oh, Yosef Langley. I suddenly now think that he is involved. Why wouldn't it let me drag that across? Oh, because he's not considered to be a relevant person. He's not a person of interest at this point, but I'm calling it now. He's involved with this. Welcome to the internal Stelligan University course attendee class system. Pick a class. Good fellas, here we are. So these are his students. Ooh, Juliet. We've seen this name before, haven't we? Right, she was a friend of Miss Watergate. Now it appears she was a student of God Goldfells. For God's sake, I can't say that name right. I think that's enough to warrant a report. Alright, we have authorization to investigate Miss Carrington. Harrison O'Donnell. Yes, we've seen that name connected to Miss Watergate. Have we? I don't recognize it. He is now a target. Juliet. Let's get a picture. It's a nice picture. Nice, interesting hair colour. Her job. Her date of birth. Place of residence. Interests, although they don't seem particularly relevant to anything. 
dislikes going out. Anything that helps build a psychological profile, I guess. Oh, I'm sorry. Whoops. Torture, is the is that correct? Oh shit, sorry. Yeah. I maybe I I focus more on the friend part because that's what it says in there. Engaged in torture. Oh I'm so sorry I didn't see that coming. <laughs> Whoops! We are the Carringtons. They have a family website. Why do they have a family website that lists all of their information? Except to make my job so much easier. Sure, let's get your bloody favourites. Why not? Yes, yes I do. Ah, I think everything is important. When you're building a psychological... When you're building a psychological profile, you want everything. Because if, like, the banana nut muffins, I bet if I add it to the profile he's going to be like, why are you talking about muffins? But if we find out that we need to find her and that there's a favourite bakery she goes to that specialises in banana nut muffins, that will then be important. And if you didn't know the information, you couldn't... Wow. Fuck you. I'm just giving you everything. Because what delights me. Ah, I've got an achievement. Parents, conflicting information, single former member of, member of a band. Aha, telephone number for her as well. Good work. The listener will also track incoming and outgoing telephone calls of numbers you have added. Speaking of which, there's also another chat between Cassandra and Joseph. I am building up quite a web. I guess the ones with pictures are the ones I'm supposed to be investigating. Harrison. Media punk. I'm guessing, just a shot in the dark, that he is um, Juliet's boyfriend. Called it. I totally called it. Once again, the more relevant recent information is the more important. So, they used to be a couple, and they're no longer a couple. So that is more important than the fact that they used to be a couple. What does this little icon mean? I don't know why that's there. That's not on any of the others. I've n oh, it's there as well. I don't know what that means. Another picture of Harrison, or Hancock, an alias, and also his role in the band. Hey look, it's the same picture, just flipped. And another alias for her as well. Oh god, that's horrible music. Well, we have an email address. So now I presumably will get any emails sent to that. Straight away. A bouquet to Angela. Ooh. And his bank account. You now have access to all the money going in and out of his bank account. Ooh. I guess she's out of prison. Oh, she isn't. <laughs> I see, this is one of those bad ones. Because it's on Cassandra's social media, her saying, I am a lawyer, I can enter that Cassandra is a lawyer. Harrison did the planning for the Freedom Plaza protest. Apparently, but it conflicts with something that I have not yet discovered, so how do I know it conflicts? A friend of mine claims to have heard that Hancock decided to quit the band. Well, I can't put that in just off what a friend of his might have heard. That's not good enough information to put into Orwell. Ah. Juliet planned it. I'd say that's more likely because she's not the one being asked about it, so yeah. She planned the Freedom Plaza demo. Hmm. Wait, what the actual... The moment you opened that dark malicious code was injected into Orwell. We've had 47 attack warnings and still counting. What the hell is on that site? I don't know. So a lot was said in this conversation and I didn't want to start pulling things out of it in the middle. Let's see. He's no longer a member of Thought. Goldfell disappeared. Ooh. Knock knock Harrison, seems I caught you pants down on that little page of yours. Confused? Well that's fine, you don't know me and I like to keep it that way, but I know a lot about you, media punk. If you knew what I know about what you know about what this little group of yours did, you would find it hard to ignore that those two bombs might just carry your name tag. Get what I'm talking about? The righteous hacker in this shit will expose all information I got on you. 
Now there is a hacker involved in all of this because the situation wasn't bad enough. I wonder what this is about. Seems we're not the only ones interested in Mr. O'Donnell and his entanglements. I wonder if this guy has any proof for what he claims. Well, based on the phrasing of that, no. I don't think he's involved. He's a frequent customer in a Bonton drugstore. Can I... yeah, can, can take that. Received a large payment from TMB. Ooh. Payment from the National Beholder. Well, someone else said that he was uh, a journalist. And he owns two life insurance. Ooh, something new on Juliet's timeline. I even organised a peaceful protest. Ah, this conflicts. With something. Hancock's wall of text? Huh. My plan is finally taking shape. It even has a name. Thought. I'm glad to have a capable companion. This one looks like it conflicts with two separate data chunks. Rejects governmental p position. Lives in a trailer? Yep, that's useful information. Oh, come on. Could you please get more stereotypically antisocial? That is fucking horrible. Eat chocolate pudding from a diaper. Fuck is wrong with you, man. I see. As soon as I get myself a handful of like-minded people, we're going to occupy that university. And that conflicts with what Juliet said about managing, uh, organising a protest. So that is the more recent information, because that's saying that she has now done that, whereas that's him saying, I intend to do that. Also, there's nothing saying they didn't do it together, and they could both then claim it. Because I pinned the Freedom Plaza protest on Juliet, I kind of think she did this one as well. I think because she is giving the more recent thing, they're him saying, oh, I want to do this, and her saying, I have done this, that I'm going to pin that on her as well. Freedom Plaza and Stelligan, very well. It is a pattern exactly as we suspected, but we still have no idea about the third location. Whoops, sorry, I clicked through that. Well, I might have to conduct an interrogation with Miss Watergate. I want to avoid it, though. She's behaved pretty defiantly, I've been told. Security warning unrecognized access to account. Your bank account was used from an unrecognized device. Oh, That's me. I owe you. Knock, knock, Harrison. The thoughts are free once again. We're not done yet, you and me. But first I must turn to another. Ooh. Yeah, this confirms what I was thinking. My plan is finally taking shape. He came up with thought. And he's glad to have a companion in this who came up with the idea for a demo. It's got to be Juliet. Juliet is the mastermind behind it. Sorry, what? I'm confused now. Goldfells. I'm looking for people to join a debate club called The Thought, and I think your presence could liven up the discussion. Oh, right. So it sounds like... Sorry, I completely misinterpreted this. He didn't come up with Thought. He joined Thought. And she still organised things, I'm certain. I feel a little confused now. Is this thought a blog, an activist group, or a debate club? Perhaps all three. Yeah, I'd say all three. Debate club invitation. And despite his claims that he wasn't interested, Hancock is still posting here saying that the first few sessions were empty, but they're not going to give up hope. Nina, so there is another member we haven't even heard of yet. I will request clearance to make her a target. We got a green light. Concerned one? Ooh. Nina. Concerned one. What a strange alias name. I've seen much, much stranger ones. The government consists only of ass-kissing motherfucking turds. Conflict with I can't even find... Rejects government position. Hostile towards government. How are those two in conflict? I suppose they're both relevant because they're not mutually exclusive. I don't dis I don't agree with this whole concept of conflicting updates. So he was the first one to declare it an activist group, or at least the first one I found. So an activist group after all, and now we know who had the primary say in that. How about holding a proclamation on a government building? Sounds like a worthy first demo. Oh, plan to storm a mall as their first protest. Well, that's not, again, that's not conflicting information because it's both people saying, hey, we could do this first. So Hancock thought we should do that first and Nina thought they should do that first. 
That's not conflicting again, they're not mutually exclusive. Yeah, this is a bit condemning for you concerned, isn't it? Despises law enforcement, and she messed up organisation of something. I think we have a location for Hancock, camping site. Outskirts camping, that's one ugly place, but I guess it's cheap. So these are pretty useful, I think they indicate when there's something you missed. So there's something on this page that I haven't copied over. Such as a portrait, maybe? Yes, portrait. And see, now it's gone. So yeah, I thought at first it indicated you could link to other pages from it, but it looks like it's pages you miss something on. So the only things I still haven't put on that I've found are this supposed conflict between two people suggesting hypothetical things they could maybe possibly do in the future, and this conflict where there is apparently still one thing I've not found. So that means I am a little bit stuck. Oh, sorry, I missed all of these. Yeah, I knew someone said he was a journalist. Hey, I read this one quite regularly. It wasn't... I wasn't at all aware it was our guy. Also, this must be the large payment he received. Shut the Pagusian Pagusian border? Oh, it's by him. I see. So, in his day job, he wrote about supporting the governmental position, but on his private thing, he talked about how stupid it was. So, the important thing here, I think, is where he's written these. So, in his job, he supported it. On a communal blog, he was aggressive about it, and on his own blog, he was rejecting of it. I think the rejecting is the most prevalent thing because in his job, you know, you do what you're paid to do. In a public setting, you're encouraged to be more uh, emphatic than you would be otherwise. So I'm going to go with this one. Predicted assaults in Bonton. Hmm, yes, I read the article. That was strange. And with the bombings now, dot, dot, dot. I guess that all that's left is deciding which of these... Ah, uh, you know what, I'm just going to disable them. I'm going to disable them both, because I don't think they're relevant. And now I'm officially out of things to look at. Okay, I've just gone over every single thing again, and I cannot find anything. The only thing I can think that's left is that this is actually important. So I'm going to re-enable these... I'm going to say Hancock because I don't know. I'm stuck. A government building. That must be it. That's where the third bomb will be. Oh, I see. That was my choice. But which one? All right. If that's all we have, we have to get... That's what we have to work with. Let's get this interrogation running. So, bloody hell. The entire thing is hinged on which of two people two years ago said where it should be like two different people suggested different ideas and that's what the entire thing's hinging on let's just hope that you have what you have provided us will give us leverage i will open a connection for you to eavesdrop that did not go as planned not at all damn so i cut all of that because it takes so freaking long it takes four minutes for them to have a conversation seriously i wonder if we went wrong somewhere about this place we're running out of time we need ideas and fast. Oh. Oh no. The Circle Mall. You see, I'm wondering if that's because I chose the other one. Or because I got it wrong. Because from what I saw, there was no evidence to say which one it was. Absolutely nothing. We could have prevented this. Well, no, you couldn't. Because even if we guessed the right one and said to her, hey... Do you know if they're going to be bombing something and she says, actually, yes, I did hear about that. Boom, happened anyway. I don't shit. Oh, you really should. It's very unhealthy not to. There's going to be some serious fallout. We need to pull this group apart. We'll be looking at Nina. Until then, you are dismissed. The Circle Mall hit by terrorist attack. Unused deaths have been informed. Detonation, blah, blah, blah. Okay. And I guess... That is it for episode two. So that is also it for my second impressions. Uh, I This wasn't quite the full second hour. With episodic stuff, it's hard to just do it in the sections. That's why I've done it in two separate recordings over two separate things. Anyway, let me know if you want to see more or well. I'm vaguely interested, but this is beginning to piss me off with its adventure game logic. So if I did get something wrong, then that's on me, but... I suspect it just didn't give me the information or it's a made-to-lose fight, so 
Let me know if you want to see more. Obviously, no spoilers at all for this or anything really on my channel. Just don't like spoilers. I'm going off on a ramble. Thank you very much for watching. If you want to have your say on future first impressions, please consider pledging to my Patreon linked in the description. And I will catch you later.